Today on Castle Crossfit's Clear, we're going to make Holy Spirit stuff. Now huh? let's get crafting! Yeah! Okay, so here's your bowl. Your job is to squeeze all this glue, glue in, in there. there. Like paper mache. That's kind of, yeah, where it's kind of like making paper mache. Put a little bit of water in. Like that much, something now like that. Like a, to make it kind of a really liquidy glaze. You know, just kind of get like it? a. I guess you could taste it if you want. Actually, no, I <laughs> It's not even. Yeah. We're gonna get our clear acetone okay. oval. And, and lay that. This. Yep. Now put that on there. Spread it all around. Use your spoon. Spread it all around. While Claire's doing that, I'm gonna cut out the uh, package of squares. You have four different colors here, and you're gonna cover all, the whole thing. Yep. Why are we making a Holy Spirit dove today? Well, in the readings today, we read that Jesus visited his disciples after the resurrection in the upper room. And That's the upper room. <gasps> I make that upper room. And they were all locked away for fear of the Jews. They didn't want the Jews to come and get them. Why? Oh, because the uh, the Jewish leaders at the time, they were the ones that said that Jesus should be crucified. And they were going to punish Jesus' followers. And then Jesus appeared before them, and he said, Peace be with you. And they were like, Whoa, it's Jesus. And then again he said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And then Jesus breathed on them, like this. I have no idea what resurrection breath smells like, so I don't know if you have like halitosis going on, or maybe you had breath mints. Did they have breath mints back then? I have no idea. I don't know these things. And there appeared tongues of flame over them. He told them, receive the Holy Spirit. Tongue, tongue, tongue of flame above their head. Yeah. Tongue of flame above the, the, the head. So Jesus said to them, receive the Holy Spirit. And who really has the power to forgive? Jesus. That's right. Only God can forgive. So what's this about Jesus giving the the, the disciples the power to forgive and not forgive? What? Hmm. If Jesus said that the, the disciples could forgive sins, and we know that only God can forgive sin, Maybe what's up with that? Maybe he trusts them to forgive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he trusts them because Jesus said that he would send a paraclete, the Holy Spirit, to guide them. And that's what we celebrate today on Pentecost, the coming of the Holy Spirit to the apostles. In the book of Acts, Luke tells us about the first Acts of Pentecost when the, when the apostles came out and became manifest to the world. What's manifest? That's a great question. Manifest is when uh, something becomes visible. Wait, Jesus is right near us? Like he's right near you and me, but he, we just can't see him. Jesus does say wherever two or more are gathered in his name, he is there. What John tells us about in the gospel today is uh, what Jesus did that Luke tells us about in the book of Acts. Just like you smeared the glue before, go ahead and put it on there now. Now, all the inside pieces, go ahead and pop those out. Do you remember what Jesus says when he appears in front of the disciples? Don't be afraid. Right. I am their God. Yeah, don't be afraid. We can go ahead and get started back on the oval. So I'm not even sure I can do this right, but I'll I'll be really careful and try really hard. All right, now we'll do this part together. I'm gonna put this down on top like this. You can, you can clip around, but I'm gonna wait for ours to dry first. This is our Holy Spirit dove. So the Holy Spirit dove is gonna go right there. Yes. Go ahead, this one you can peel off. That one's not too tricky. There's the tail and the top wing and the beak and the bottom wing. All right, get your foam rectangle like this, and you're gonna put it right across the top. <laughs> Happy Pentecost. <laughs> 